liquidator machines, the machines that was fighting in Chernobyl. An armored dump truck, a bus with a steel sheet, a remote control bulldozer, a robot moonwalker, and other vehicles that fought the spread of radiation after the terrible disaster in Chernobyl. 33 years after the disaster at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, the exclusion zone again present a huge danger. The strongest fire around the nuclear power plant has already destroyed the abandoned villages, as well as the famous red forest with trees that have changed under the influence of radiation. The fire has already approached Pripyat and the storage facilities with radioactive waste. The fire also affected burial grounds with buried equipment, which was used to eliminate the consequences of a terrible accident on April 26, 1986. We decided to remember what machines helped people to eliminate and prevent the spread of radiation then, almost 34 years ago. Zil 131 At the first stage, completely ordinary machines worked at the crash site, without additional protection from radiation. For example, in many photographs, you can see an army four-wheel drive truck. Zil 131 in particular, this car was used to move goods to temporary storage sites in the area of the villages of Yanov Zalesie and the city of Pripyat, as well as to deliver personnel to the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. By the way, the truck can also be seen in the second episode of the Chernobyl series, where people are notified of the beginning of the evacuation with the help of the loudspeaker installed on it. The production of the legendary truck was carried out until 2002, and many copies of the Zil-131 are still used in the Russian army. Ural-375 In the first hours after the accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, the AC-40 vehicle based on the Ural-375 of Lieutenant Viktor Kivenko took part in extinguishing the fire at the fourth reactor. The firefighter received a high dose of radiation and later died in Moscow. He was posthumously awarded the title of the hero of the Soviet Union. Kibienko's vehicle, like many other fire engines, was buried in the burial ground of contaminated equipment near Buryakovka. Also, Ural firefighters were actively used to carry out decontamination work on the territory of the exclusion zone. For example, these machines were treating buildings and roads in Pripyat with a special liquid. RAF 22031 Latvia RAF 22031 Latvia, from the second half of the 1970s, replaced the old medical Rafiki, RAF 977IM, at Ambulance Station. As a result, this model became the most popular minibus in the USSR. RAF 22031 Latvia vehicles evacuated the victims from the crash site to the hospital starting from the night of April 26. They continued to be used during the clearance of the remnants of the Chernobyl disaster. The vehicles that accumulated significant doses of radiation after the accident at the nuclear power plant were crushed by caterpillars and buried in burial grounds. Kamas 5511 Kamas 5511 in the exclusion zone was used as a concrete mixer and a dump truck. In the photographs, the cars can be seen with lead sheets on the body. Of course, such modifications were weak protection against radiation. Dump trucks were used most often to remove radioactive waste, and the concrete mixers became indispensable during the construction of the shelter structure, a concrete sarcophagus around the reactor. The production of Kamas 5511 was completed in 1990, but this vehicle can still be found on the roads of some cities. 
class 256 up to the real level of threat for the clearance teams became understandable, the development of special version of vehicles for work in the affected area began as soon as possible. Thus, at the Kremenchuk Automobile Factory, a working group prepared a whole batch of special Kras 256 dump truck for the removal of highly radioactive pieces. The cabin of the car was protected with steel sheets with a layer of lead and from the inside the capsule was sheltered with special plastic. The dump truck was also equipped with a FVUA 100N filtering unit. After this modification the weight of the capsule exceeded 3 tons, which required the modification of the Kras 256 undercarriage. Last 692 Lvov bus factory has released a special bus with protection from radiation to help clearance team of the disaster at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. The car with the index LAS-692 was built on the basis of the LAS-695N model and equipped with lead plates on the windows. A special air filtration system was also installed in the cabin and the roof hatches were welded. The bus had a lower level of protection than the Kras 256, but unlike a dump truck, it did not have to work for hours in the exclusion zone. UAS 469 Of course, Soviet off-road vehicles UAS 469 took part in the clearance of the terrible disaster. This car, which was nicknamed Bobik, was the main command vehicle of the army of those times that was distinguished by good cross-country ability and easy to repair. A car with a 75 horsepower engine in the exclusion zone was used to transport military commanders or for intelligence service. In the photographs of that time, sometimes cars are captured right at the power plant. After raids into the exclusion zone, all cars were subject to mandatory treatment at special points. Kamatsu D355W The Japanese Kamatsu D355W bulldozer was an indispensable assistant in clearing the construction site from radioactive soil. The car was controlled by using a special remote control. However, its range was not very big, so the operator was in the close enough area. Most often, such a driver was put in a cockpit of protected army armored vehicles. How many such bulldozers Japan sent to help the USSR is still unknown. STR-1 Probably the most famous among the steel clearance team was the specialized transport robot STR-1. It is this machine that can be seen in the photographs during the clearing of the roof of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant from the debris of highly radioactive elements of the destroyed reactor. Dozens of scientific institutes took part in the work of this machine and the self-propelled chassis of the Moonwalker was taken as a base. Scientists spent three and a half months to create this unique machine. The STR-1 was remotely controlled and sat in motion by means of two silver zinc batteries. The vehicle was delivered to the roof of the power unit using an MI-8 helicopter. Strange, but STR-1 was ignored by the creators of the British TV series Chernobyl, in which the car is only casually mentioned by academic Valery Ligasov, performed by actor Jared Harris. Gas 66 The legendary Gas 66 Shishiga was used to transport clearance teams to the disaster zone 
from places of temporary residence. An all-wheel drive truck with a ground lightning of 315 mm could carry about 20 people at a time. The car was equipped with a winch, an eight-cylinder engine and even a berth for the driver. Of course, no one thought about the low level of comfort for passengers then. In the army, the Gas 66 was used both as a truck, as a command vehicle and as a medical vehicle. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. Thanks for sharing and bye-bye.